In this video, I'm going to teach you how to assess the anterior cruciate ligament using the standard draw test. Now, the ACL, as we would call it, is basically an internal ligament of a knee that comes from the anterior surface of the tibia and it goes to the posterior surface of the femur. And you can see it just here, that's the ACL. Excuse my, all my colours on my, on my knee on here. And the ACL prevents anterior motion of the tibia. So if I use my right hand and I pull the tibia going forward, so the ACL prevents anterior glide in relation to the femur, but also it prevents posterior glide of the femur in relation to the tibia. So it's called antero-posterior glide. So that's where it stops. Also, when the foot is fixed and you pivot, so when a femur like pivots, then the ACL will limit how much rotation you have to that knee. Now, the ACL can commonly tear with the MCL, so you can damage both these structures at the same time. You can also damage your medial meniscus as well, and that's called the unhappy triad, also called O'Donoghue's triad. But you can damage the ACL on its own, so if a foot is fixed and you increase the rotation, then you might find that this ACL can tear on its own. So that's what we're going to look at now. First of all, when we look at that, we need to do what we call a comparison test. So we bring the feet together, okay, and bring the legs so around 90 degrees, and then we look in to see if a tibia, the tuberosity here, or the plateau, has actually dropped back. So we compare it on either side. We're not looking for the length of the leg, you know, whether the femur or tibia is longer. We are looking to see if the tibia has dropped back. What that means is, if your knee is in this position and you notice the tibia has dropped back in relation to the femur, then you might find it is a posterior cruciate ligament you've torn. And actually, this one's actually torn on the back here. So we've torn the PCL. So it allows the tibia through gravity to drop back. So we call it like a, like a sag sign. So if it's dropped back, when you physically do pull it, it pulls forward to neutral, but because you've pulled it and you perceive it to go forward, then you consider it is a torn ACL. So just bear that in mind. If you want to, you can do something called the Godfrey sag sign test and bring both legs up to 90 degrees like this. Okay, so you've got the weight of the tibia and dropping back. And if you notice, the tibia tuberosity here is lower compared to this side, then you might find it's called a sag sign. Bring the legs back down. So that's the first thing I suggest you do. Now, the standard way of doing the draw test is I would normally sit on the edge of a foot, just on the edge here. My thumbs are going to go onto the tibial plateau, so I'm going to roll my thumbs up on top here. My fingers behind, be careful behind on the popliteal fossa area, don't pull too much. And then first of all, I'm just going to do what we call a laxity test. So I'm just going to take out the slack of the cruciate. So when I'm pulling, if I just pull there, you can see there is a motion going anteriorly at. You can, should be able to see that, but that's quite normal. Remember, this would be the good side, this is the injured side. So I suggest you test the asymptomatic knee first to see what's normal, and then you come on to the side that is symptomatic and then you compare against each other. And very often I'll end up testing the good knee, then testing this side, going back to the good knee, coming back here, yeah, and so on, just to clarify it. There are other tests, but I will do a video for the, the Lackman's manoeuvre later. Now, bring the thumbs over. So again, just to take out the laxity, you can also push for the PCL and pull to test the ACL. Okay, so you're just doing a laxity test between the two. And then what I'm going to do now is just pull a bit more and I call it the stress test. So I'm just going to stress that ligament. So I'm just going to do this motion here. Okay, and again, it's comparison. So when I pull, there should be slight motion, but it's hard to say what is uh, a torn ACL because I've seen so many of them. Some have a few millimeters of motion, three or four or five in comparison to this side. Yeah, whereas others have maybe up to a centimeter, if not more. Okay, so I've seen quite a few. They're not painful, why? Because once you've torn the ligament, then it tends to be naturally swollen for a period, but when you see them maybe a week or two or three uh, weeks later, and hopefully the swelling has gone down somewhat, when you do pull it, yeah, and the ligament's been torn, 
then um, it doesn't cause any pain. Okay, so it looks a little stressful, hence the word stress test. So this is called the anterior draw test, and it's testing the stability of the anterior cruciate ligament. So just to recap, thumbs on the plateau, little laxity test, so I normally push and pull for the PCL to push, ACL to pull, and then when I'm ready, I'll just do a stress test. And then if I elicit anterior glide, if it glides like this, okay, so when I pull it as this, then more than likely it is a full thickness tear of the anterior cruciate ligament that would probably require surgical intervention. But remember, it's always comparative against the other knee. I hope you've enjoyed the video and thank you for watching.